First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Savannah Martin is with Paper and Leaf, the Paper and Leaf Hemp Company. And good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Um, so tell us what you have, uh, what you, did you bring anything in over the, you, did you bring anything in? I didn't bring anything in. I mean, you I did yesterday. Have, yes. You did yesterday, so. Well, you know, it's also, too, I don't know what the it. town square policy is, if we can, you know, bring certain <laughs> things into the building or not. I'm not sure. Okay, so we'll tell us what you guys time. do over there, and we're going to learn a little bit about what uh, you have. So Yeah. So um, we just recently, obviously, opened up our new store um, in New Hartford Shopping Center. We're kind of building on the company at the moment, kind of seeing what products are to push a little better than others. But okay. um, right now, um, we've got Delta 8 and Delta 10 products. So, And what is that? Delta 8 and Delta 10 basically is just <clears throat> a different variation of cannabinoids or THC. Okay. Um, it is a lower grade. It is legal in the state of New York as of right now. And um, it's a little bit different than Delta 9. Delta 9 is your typical like regular marijuana that you'd get like off the streets or from um, oh, okay. a medical dispensary or anything like that. Um, Delta 8 and Delta 10 is kind of um, milder in a sense that it's not going to give you as much of a euphoric effect. It still will give you a euphoric effect, okay. but it's not going to be as strong. It's a little bit better for like more daytime use or if you're looking to help with like different ailments, stuff like that. I was saying so. it was sleeping versus taking yes. sleeping pills. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah. It relaxes your body really, really well, um, especially the Delta 8 in that sense. Delta 10 is more um, better for, like, a mood lifter. It's really okay. good for helping give you energy, stuff like that. So, so are 8 and 10 kind of what the legal medical marijuana dispensaries have been giving out over the last few years? And, and, and the word Delta 8, <laughs> Delta 9, Delta 10, are these yeah. brand names or are these <laughs> clinical names? No. Well, the COVID they, variants. Yeah, is what no, they no. That, that really suck that you've got a Delta variant <laughs> that is and true. Delta yeah. 8. Yeah. No, the 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 only real variation between all the Delta names is the cannabinoids themselves. That's okay. how they're classified. Got it. Um, other than that, there's no real like difference within the verbiage of it. It's just how okay. they're labeled. So <laughs> to, I know nothing about any of this. <laughs> it's Andrew, a lot. <laughs> to Andrew's question, Delta eight and ten. You asked if those are the uh, medical marijuana grades. Uh, grades, but actually, you said. Delta 9 is the medical Delta 9 yeah. is the medical marijuana. Delta 8 and Delta 10 are two new cannabinoids to Oh, the it's market, like the basically. toe in the water marijuana. Yeah, pretty basically. much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and do you have and and does your company have do you guys have 8, 9 and 10 or We cannot currently carry 9 because 9 is though it's legal in the state of New York for recreational use, you're not allowed to distribute it yet. So okay. we have to wait for New York State to kind of allow us to get our licensing for everything. And that's probably going to happen, what do they say, uh, it was well. like 18 months or something Yeah, from 18 back months from then. the time that they pass everything. Yeah. So yeah. we're just we're kind of hoping that they'll have a little bit more of an idea come about December time for when they're going to be able to allow us okay. to get our licensing. But All right. Yeah. Ask so the Delta 8, Delta 10, uh, that's... How do you buy that? It's a it's a dropper. It's an oil. It's something you eat. It's something you vape. What you is- can, pretty much everything you said. Oh, um, really? So you can get it in tincture bottles, which would be the droppers. Um, there's different milligrams for that. You can get those even for specific like sleep helping as well. Um, and we also have a ton of different edibles. You can get you can buy it in loose flour. So we carry like the buds for it and everything. Um, so and do you have to be eighteen? Do you have to show ID? Do you need a medical marijuana card? You do not need a medical card for Delta Eight and Delta Ten. Um, and you do have to be twenty one. Twenty one. That's yes. right. Okay, twenty one. Right. Twenty one. Right. State of New York. Yep. But I would think that the um, the consumption, like eating versus smoking or vaping, would be healthier. <laughs> but doesn't the the, the consumption um, those brownies have calories, Bill? Well, and carbs. That's true. They're carbs. <laughs> but but I guess the the consumption, like if you eat like a marijuana brownie, mm-hmm. um, different people react very differently depending on how much is in that. <laughs> they do. Like um, I, my favorite story is the cop that <laughs> yeah. that called nine one one to report that he was dead. I'm dead. Help me. I think his girlfriend was dead too. She was dead also. <laughs> She's dead and I'm dead. And the nine one one person is like, Sir, um, you're saying you're dead? Yes, both me and my girlfriend are dead. Honey, are you dead too? Yes. Yes, I'm dead. <laughs> so like Send well, the car right away. We've had some brownies. <laughs> yeah. So how do you do that without doing that? Right? So like 
All right, so everybody's body obviously is going to be a little bit different when it comes to how you're taking it. So your your body already has a certain level of tolerance um, because it's odd enough. We already have cannabinoids and receptors that are already in our system, so they're already yeah. there. You're just mm-hmm. enhancing them. Okay. Um, when it comes to edibles and I guess you would just say smokables, um, it – they actually take into your system a little bit quicker than the other. So if you're taking an edible, it's going to be anywhere from between about a half hour to an hour's time frame that it'll actually kick into your system. Okay. And if you're using a smokable, it can be anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Just because you're inhaling it, it's getting into right. your system a lot quicker. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so the answer to that would be moderation. Yeah, yeah moderation. Right, Obviously, right. Take one, wait a little, a little while. <laughs> so, so what you're saying, though, is that the, the, the brown, like this police officer. The, yeah. <laughs> is humiliated because it's what he does for a living, and right. he's there. And oh, by the way, nine one one records all of its calls. So, <laughs> so that's great. also a problem. But uh, but uh, so what you're saying is it's almost like uh, you hear these stories about somebody who was chugging liquor mm-hmm. and they drank too much mm-hmm. because they didn't have the effect of it initially. Right. But after it kicked in, and you're saying the same thing true with with. What happened to that officer? If, if you have something like that happen, you could get very paranoid, depending on your system. Um, it sounds like they were paranoid, might have been. Just uh, get really tired. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. <laughs> it depends. Yes, on, it does. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, the, it was the guy, uh, the cop, who was on calling 911. What isn't part of the story is his his girlfriend was just tucked up on the couch, sound asleep. She was <laughs> sleeping well, away. That's why he thought she was dead. Yeah, yeah. So can, can I ask as well... Uh, do you sell other hemp products like, I don't know, uh, shirts, bags, stuff like that? Or is it just uh, like the Delta 8, Delta 10 type so stuff? So in regards to other hemp products, <clears throat> um, we only really other than that have like CBD products. Um, in regards to like shirts and stuff, the stuff that we do have is not currently hemp made. Um, I don't see us not having that and uh, like happen in the future here. Um, but at this time, we don't currently have yeah. any other hemp products. That that are in there's the, no, in the company. there's not as much a demand for hemp <laughs> well, bags. No, I, 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 I was, <laughs> it's a good question, yeah. Because is, you yeah. hear all the time about you know how popular hemp was, uh, you know, going back several decades. 90s. Oh, yeah. And I almost want to say New York sto- State has or had a law, I think it was had a law, that, like, you couldn't um, you couldn't have hemp products like, you know, purses, Bracelets or, yeah. Things like yeah. that, clothing. I, I could be wrong on that, but somebody had banned it, <laughs> uh, at least for a while. Okay, uh, you, you uh, brought in a couple of products yesterday. Can we talk about those? One was uh, yeah. something that you rub on your skin. Yeah. Um, and uh, the other was uh, a dropper. Yeah. So explain what you what you brought in. So the two that we had brought in actually didn't contain any THC. Mm-hmm. Um, they were just CBD products, but they are um, – the one that you would rub on your skin is going to be the pain balm. Those ones are 500 milligrams, and they're really, really good for helping specifically with, like, localized pain relief. Okay. So, so like um, with my shoulder issue, um, I would rub that into the yes, uh, into the shoulder. Yes, so. perfect. Yeah, and then you have the tincture bottles or the droppers that a lot of people know them by. Um, those ones we have are twelve hundred milligrams. They come in a few different flavors that we carry, and those are really good for like kind of overall body administration use. So if you're having problems in multiple areas and it's not just one specific localized, that's really good for helping with that. And then it could also be really good for helping like aid sleeping. It's nothing that's going to put you to sleep or yeah. anything. It's not yeah. going to make you drowsy. Excuse me. But it would it be kind of like uh, what's the uh, the product that uh, you were taking many pills? Melatonin. Of, uh, melatonin. Melatonin, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, boy. Yeah, it won't, it won't have that kind of effect to you. It'll just help relax your body. It makes <laughs> okay, it, all right. It makes it and no relax. THC in any of those. No THC in any of okay. those, no. So this is all crazy as we're, we're witnessing this beginning. So in 18 months, or I guess we're down to about 15 months now, or maybe a little less than that, Somewhere. what is it all going to be like? What will your store be like at that point? Yeah, so basically now we had set it up so like in anticipation for that. So when you walk into our company, you're going to be greeted by a security guard basically at a window, and you're going to get ID'd, and you'll be let into... Um, Basically, it's just a buzzer door into a lounge area where we'll have you sit down and kind of relax. And um, there's going to be a TV, couches, different things in there. Um, And then one by one, we'll individually be pulling people in so that they can be helped out just kind of as a new. Depending on whatever it is they're looking for. Yeah, exactly. But that could be for recreation, though. Yes, okay. it will. It would be for recreational. Yep. Yeah, and for then Delta 9. and then is uh, okay. I was going to say you get a couch and TV in there. You're never going <laughs> to get them out. 
Well, I was going to say, say they brought us cannolis and, uh, and donuts, <laughs> you know, in anticipation. So is this, I never knew the Delta 9 uh, tie it. The, I've, I've the, never heard it called that. It. Delta and 9 old. is just, yeah, a lot of people honestly didn't know that. It's just the cannabinoid name. So it's Delta 9 THC is what it's called, um, or just regular THC marijuana. Okay. And then I guess the other question I have for you is the legality of everything. Yeah. Um, yes, New York State is making it legal, but the federal government still has is calling marijuana illegal. And I know that's right. being you know, probably in the process of being challenged how mm-hmm. long that will take, God knows. But the significance of that, though, is is that it makes it difficult to deposit money, uh, deposit. Uh, yeah. So are you in that same boat right now? <laughs> yeah. And yes. even with piggyback, it, are you cash only? We are not cash only just because we are not um, – technically a full dispensary right now and they don't have to regulate the money by just cash only as of right now so right now anything you do the federal government would be okay with yes everything that we do currently carry is legal everything that we're doing transaction wise is also legal so and keep in mind the difference between being legal state legal in new york Mm -hmm. state versus legal in in the united states is is, uh, in accordance with federal uh, federal regulations that is the big problem they've had out in Colorado and in other states where they they're they're selling this stuff like crazy marijuana recreational, but they can't put the money in the bank because the minute they do, the feds take the money. Yeah, it's crazy. There's they're actually I'm pretty sure they're just trying to come up with uh, regulations as to what banks themselves are going to regulate the cash flow for everything. Right. Yeah. Um, until they figure that out, we're kind of still obviously in the anticipation. <clears throat> anticipation process for trying to figure out when we're going to be able to get our licensing. You can almost hope for so. a state-run bank. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. How about that? Uh, I, I was recently <laughs> in New York City, and they've had this um, this marijuana candy van that goes around. And it's probably oh. been there for five years. <laughs> five years. Yeah. And so the I, bus. they've been anticipating <laughs> the legalization of marijuana for five years. It's oh, yeah. it's kind of like the pot bus. There's one of those in, in Denver. They just drive from dispensary to dispensary, and they end up at a pizza place. <laughs> That's what they do, <laughs> which is kind of oh, funny. Gosh. But this this thing parks all in Times Square and all over New York City. There's, there's a, a handful of them. And it's a company that makes marijuana candies and edibles. Hmm. But the way they're getting away with it now is... It's just, it's like a chocolate mold that looks like a marijuana leaf. It's, there's no marijuana in oh, it at all. Right, 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 right. So they're waiting for the, the green light, so they're already in place. You know that, <laughs> that in New York City, you're going to see those buses going around. And they're <laughs> selling it right out of, it, it's exactly what it is. They're selling it right out of, out of this, this van. It's like a food truck. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's somewhat unfair that, you know, and it's evidenced by I was in New York City recently walking through the streets of Manhattan and you smell nothing else but marijuana. Oh, yeah. Yet there can't be a, a dispensary, you know, selling this Delta 9 yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, yeah, Delta 9. And the yep. other <laughs> the other part of this that I, I find interesting because, you know, um, I'm old enough where marijuana had a very negative, uh, the public looked very negatively on, on marijuana. Right. And, and I've watched that change over the years to the point where we are today. But um, it, it's, it is very interesting when you compare this to opioids. Mm-hmm. So if you've got a person that, is, that has a horrible back pain, I mean, we talk, I talk about mine. It's nothing compared to what <laughs> some people go through, uh, a nerve problem that right. causes excruciating pain that if they don't get a pill – they're going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. And there are even situations of suicide because of this. Yes. Why not use something like cannabis to yeah. relieve these people, cancer patients, the same thing? I mean, why are we so late to the to the ball game here? It's just crazy. Honestly, I haven't understood it either. Yeah. Uh, that, and that's part of why I love my job, honestly, is being able to benefit people in so many different ways yeah. and seeing the the different outcomes for everything because it's so – each person is so 
individual in themselves with what they have going on. Right. Seeing right. them come in and being able to do that for them is uh, it's well, an awesome you know, feeling. It will easily place somebody on uh, on medicine for anxiety. And, oh yeah, and, but they won't prescribe something that is not right? going to that is not natural. cause a it, massive addiction like that. And, and 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 you know, I've watched this. You take someone on those anxi- anxiety medicines or whatever they're on. Mm-hmm. You take them off that, and there is a huge crash. Oh yeah, yeah there's a massive and, withdrawal and from it. So why is this so bad? Why do people look at this so badly? I think that. That's part of the reason mm-hmm. why we're seeing people more open-minded to it today. So, exactly. I've yeah. noticed that, too. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Um, I've got a few minute, a minute or so. Plug away. Uh, you guys are located where you're located, all of that stuff. So, yeah. So we're hours. located in New Hartford Shopping Center. We are open Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday, 11 to 8 p.m., and Sunday, noon to 6. We Are, are you also... open this Sunday? Yes, we are okay. open this Fourth Sunday. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are also doing a kind of like a grand opening extravaganza open house going on on July 10th. Nice. Um, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're going to do that. Different food vendors, sales and giveaways. Um, we're going to have a professional glass blower there. So there's going to be a lot of different stuff going on, and it's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Uh, any other questions you guys have? I don't think so. You know, for us, uh, <laughs> saying goodbye to you means it's vacation time. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun on your vacation. We go on vacation. <laughs> yeah, you have to stop at paper and leave first. <laughs> yes. Definitely. All right. Okay. Very. Um, so again, you guys are anticipating what's going to happen next yes. year. It's going to be yes, change are. your business a lot, but still, mm-hmm. what you have there is available and can help people in a lot of different ways. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll just add one thing. Sometime we got to get Mike in here so we can have a conversation about vapes. And how outrageous I think it is that they basically created a whole black market by oh, yeah. out, outlawing flavored vapes when the issue with the vapes were black market vapes. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, exactly. right. So now they put the whole, almost the whole market in the black market. It doesn't make any sense. We'll save it for another show. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.